Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Jewish Week Online. We're here at the Jewish Funk Team at the Tribeca Film Festival in New York City. This year, there are several films dealing with various Jewish issues. We had the opportunity to sit down with the cast and director of Love During Wartime, a story about a Palestinian who falls in love with an Israeli. So when you start this project, um, every filmmaker has their, their vision. Um, what was your vision, and how, 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 did, how did it start, and how did uh, it end? <laughs> Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a very good question. I'm surprised nobody asked it before because in the beginning, I, um, you know, when you get an ID, or at least it's like that for me, when I get an ID, it's like you sit at your table and you come up with this ID. So it's really a construction. I didn't know any couples like this. I had been to Israel on vacation visiting my relatives, but that was about it. I had never been to Palestine. And uh, in the beginning, I, my aim was to make a peace movie. Uh, and I thought that, uh, l you know, like, love conquers all. Um, but as I went along, I realized it wasn't that easy. And also, it sounds like, <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, but I don't, didn't know any Palestinians. And for me, in the beginning, it was, um, it was it was difficult because I could feel that I had to hold back because if I post the questions I really wanted to ask not only for the camera but also because I needed to understand it would make me le look you know that I didn't have enough knowledge that I had prejudice and uh, coming from my background of course I was in a way much more open-minded that than maybe others from my background but I mean um, you don't know so much and it's difficult for I mean any filmmaker to dig into a new area if you go to Cambodia if you go to Congo wherever you go and I think you have to be um, like modest about that at the same time and the knowledge that there are things you don't understand to begin with but also the fact that when I started you know talking both to Osama and Jasmine, but especially Yasmin, I didn't know many Israelis from who had these kind of views that Jasmine expresses in the film. And I was so provoked in the beginning because I, I didn't feel like that way about Israel. And I felt, can I do, I felt that, can I do a movie? I like being in Israel. And eventually I really understood more and more about you know, the, uh, what I didn't like, you know, the policies and the government and how it's evolved during the making of the film. I really don't like that, but I don't, but I like Israel and Jasmine's and Osama's, but in this case, especially Jasmine's opinions about Israel, I could really understand them, but it took me a long time and it took me a long time to di digest these, uh, things because it was um, it was it was provocative to begin with but once I could understand it really in depth I felt people can think whatever they think for me I know what I feel I'm a star on the stage I'm going to go to Tel Aviv الصبايا الإسرائيليين كانوا حلوين كثير ما بعرف ليش يمكن علشان عندهم حرية أكثر بلشت أتعلم عبرة يمكن علشان أحكي مع البنت اللي في المحل اللي جمنا أنا زي زي أغلبية الشباب الفلسطينية بس يمكن محدش عمل اللي أنا عملته أكيد كنت أعرف من الموضوع رح يعمل مشاكل As he was arrested by the Palestinian police, they beat them all night. I hate this country and how hateful they made me become. When I had Asi, 
I just won't let him go. I just want to hug him. That's it. The one thing I miss the most. <laughs> A lot of people say it's just like the Romeo and Juliet of the conflict. Um, what do you think about the conflict? Um, obviously, it, it's it, it's done a lot to to you and your family. But what are you looking for this film to to say to people to to learn from your experience about the conflict and also about you know finding love? I think it's a very big question, and I, I don't have slogans as an answer. But there's one thing that I experienced personally that was very important and I lo learned a lot from it because I lived in, with Osama in Palestine for half a year. Half a year sounds very short in the Western time, but in the Middle East it's a long time because everything is very intensive there. And you know what? I could manage a life there. People knew that I'm an Israeli and we could live there. And we had a lot of problems with the Israeli army and in checkpoints, but not with the Palestinian society around us, at least towards me. Osama had problems with them also because he's a very controversial artist and he's very not, uh, not politically correct in the way he speaks. Uh, but when I, the, ex the personal experience in living in, in Palestine showed me that actually Israelis and Palestinians can uh, manage and live together much better than one thinks when they see hear the news, when they hear what the politicians say. So this conflict it is a lot more above human level, because people want to live, they want to, their children to be educated, they want to, their children to succeed, they want to provide for their families. Uh, that's actually what every person in the world wants. Um, and they're less interested about big political agendas and conflicts and wars. Uh, and if I could live openly in Palestine, so I think that shows that there is much better chance uh, to make a real relationship between Palestinians and Israelis in whatever constellation it might be done. And this was important for me to show, uh, and it was important for me to show that when you choose somebody as a partner for life, um, external problems like political problems are very shallow and very that they're, they're just the shell. Uh, the, Real meaning is in the relationship you have with your husband or wife and that it's worth fighting for. At least in our case, it was worth fighting for every step and I don't regret any moment. And we grew a lot from these struggles and we grew t together s stronger as a couple. Um, you, you know, when, when movies go to festivals, you, you never know how the audience is going to react. Uh, this is now towards the end of the Tribeca Film Festival. What has been some of your reaction to the film in, uh, in the New York area? Uh, I think uh, the, uh, what I feel the people really like the, the story uh, but uh, in, so, in some point I have I have problem with, with audience because half of the world all pro-Palestinians or pro-Israelians mm. and the people really don't don't know until now how to be in the middle, you know. Mm. No pro Palestinians not to, right. to choose to choose sides, and it's easy for him. We can we can feel it in the question of the audience. It's like if it's Jewish, you have like more mm. question about Israel. Right. If it's Palestinians, you have like question about more Palestine. It is not really, and it's it's also many question here in here in America. It's a bit because. A lot of people ask us about our our life, mm -hmm. but in Europe it's it's become to the political. Mm -hmm. uh, but I want to go back to the first question. For me, the, the conflict, my enemy, it's I know what is my enemy. For me, my enemy is myself, and uh, it's, it's stupid if you search your enemy outside. It's it means you have problem yourself. Yeah, no, it, it's you know. When when I think of some scenes in in the movie, and I think that was like something really unique. And since it wasn't really about the the conflict itself, it was more of like dealing with the the situation and persevering 
for love. When you know, when you you were in one country, you're in the next one. It was always like you know through the webcam saying you know I love you and this and then even when you said I'll go for you, you know, like, well, but we, we want to be together. And even when you were having your struggles, um, you still persevered. And then to this day, like you, you can, you can see, you can see that, that love and that connection. And I think the audience connects to that. As you can see, there's some fantastic films at the Tribeca Film Festival. This is Aaron Herman. And thank you for watching.